Hello everyone. So it is currently Saturday. Um, it has been a really nice Saturday. I woke up early like I always do, but all of the boys in my family slept in. So I had a really nice morning um, just to enjoy my coffee and some journaling. And now Matt and Kai are outside um, doing some yard work while I film this video. Um, I am sitting at the dining table, which is near the door to the yard. So you're going to hear music, my son and my husband talking. I've got the dishwasher going as well as the washing machine going. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of background noise and I apologize for that. But this is going to be just a really casual video about my Pelican fountain pens. Um, I have four of them now and they are inside of my Superior Label Superior Labor um, pen pouch. I love this pen pouch. It's just so easy. But there they are. Let's bring them all out. Okay. Alrighty. So the reason why I wanted to make this video is because one of my subscribers and followers um, asked me some questions about the Pelican because she wanted to invest in one and was just having, you know, a difficult time choosing the size um, pen that she wanted because the Pelican does come in different um, sizes as well as what size nib she wanted. So I am not a Pelican expert by any means, but I do know that I was able to help her a little bit. So I think that by sharing kind of what I shared with her, it may help you guys um, that might be considering buying a Pelican as well, or maybe you just like looking at them because they are beautiful. So what I have here is um, a Pelican, well, they're all Pelicans, um, an M800, M600, and two M400 pens. And I think the biggest question she had was she didn't know what the difference that what the difference was and um since these are both 400s i'm going to take this one out just so we can focus on size and actually let me bring the camera in just a little bit closer here we go so this is the uh m800 the 600 is a little um it's shorter as well as um the barrel is uh skinnier slimmer and the 400 is a very small, is a very small pen. Um, and I'm not going to do any actual specifications in this video because you can look all of that up. Um, the Nibsmith has all of the um, specifications on these pens inside in, in his website. So I'm going to link him down below and you can um, check out those specifications there. But that is going to be the biggest difference is just the size of the pen. So let's see if I can make this even. There you go. 800, 600, 400. And also because of the size, the nib is also going to be different in size as well. So I apologize if any of these are nibs are dirty. They are all inked up and I use them every day. So there is definitely going to be probably some ink on them. Alrighty. So what's the easiest way to do this? Alrighty, there you go. Alrighty, as you can see, or maybe you can't see, hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> There we go. Those are the three nibs. These are all extra fine nibs, so they write pretty much exactly the same, but you will see that the 800 nib is definitely bigger and um, wider than the other two. And actually this might be easier. Is that better? I don't know if that's much better, but you get the idea. Um, dependent on the size of the pen, the nib changes in size as well. 
I have noticed that the 400 is just a hair like slimmer. It's definitely a shorter nib, but it's just a hair slimmer than the 600. I don't know why this is having trouble focusing, but yeah. And then the 800 is just significantly bigger. So that's the difference in the nibs. Um, let's see if I can put the correct caps on these. Now, the other question she had was the barrel size. And <clears throat> the best way I was able to show her, you know, how big the, the pens were was to put them next to a Twisby. There's a lot of people that do have a Twisby fountain pen. And as you can see here, the Twisby and the M800 are almost, they're very similar in terms of size. So you will see that the length is about the same. And I would say that the barrel on the M800 is definitely wider than the Twisby, but they're very comparable in terms of when, you, when you're holding them and writing with them. I would say when they are posted, the Twisby is definitely lighter. The Twisby is just a lighter pen in general, and that's just because of what it's made out of. There is um, 24 karat gold on the cap and the clip. So of course, all of those things are going to make this pen heavier. It is, um, it's a substantial pen. And now you will see the Twisby next to, I mean the uh, Pelican M600. As you can see, it is definitely smaller. And actually now that I'm looking at it, the barrel size may be, this may be more comparable actually. Yeah, I would say the M600 barrel is just a little bit more comparable. And the 400 is a baby. It is a small, small pen, but it's absolutely fabulous to write with and I really do enjoy writing with it. Out of the three, they are all fantastic writers and I do enjoy all three of them, but I would say that for me and my hands, the 600 is probably the most comfortable to write with. Um, another thing that I talked to this lady about was the nib sizes and here is actually, these are like, uh, I don't want to use these. Let's get, um, oh, here. This fountain pen right here. This is Leutsch term paper. Um, but here is a Twisby Eco extra fine nib. So let's see, I'm gonna bring this even closer. One second. There we go. This is the extra fine, okay. This is the going to be the M eight hundred. This is So as you can see right here that the Pelican Extra Fine nib just puts down a thicker line than the Twisby Eco Extra Fine nib. 
Um, and so it goes that I would say if you are a medium nib user in a Twisby, that you might want to go with a fine nib for the Pelican um, M800 or M600. Actually, let's do the M. This is the M600 extra fine. This would have been better, of course, if I had used the same exact ink in every single one, but there it is. As you can see, it is um, definitely a thicker line in the Pelican than the Twisty Eco. So in conclusion, the Pelican is a fantastic pen. You can find all the specifications for the Pelican on various websites. Just look it up. Um, but I am hoping that giving you a visual of the three together helps you a little bit in your buying decision. Um, the 400 is a small is a small pen. So if you are a Twisby user and wanting to invest in a nice pen and are thinking of the Pelican, I would say the 800 and the 600 are going to be your best bet because they are closest to the Twisby. The 400 is definitely much smaller. The nib is super smooth. I have yet to find an ink that does not agree with this Pelican nib. It's just fantastic. And yeah, if you guys have any other questions, please comment down below, or you can also find me on Instagram at the Miss Mrs. Mom. I will have that um, in the description box as well. And I am happy to talk about fountain pens all day. So yeah, remember, I'm not a professional. This is just hopefully um, a good video for you to see um, all of these sizes together. Well, there are more sizes than these three, um, but these are probably uh, the three most popular. And I hope you enjoy this video. Mm -hmm.